Hello and welcome to our 13th session and this will be our last session wherein we are going to add some warning messages and conclude this session and conclude this project. So to begin with I will come back to Word3D app manager and I will click on this puzzles. In our ARVR block if you just move in see on enter AR we have entered the component and on enter what all it should do we have added it. But when it exits from AR what it should do I will come to object and I will add show and then I will come to selector I will select the group and as soon as it exits it should show the Sudhi group. Then it should also hide I will click on hide and it should hide the component the prompt move around. So I am next going to come to object and click on set and here I have to set Sudhi armature. So I am going to select the Sudhi armature position. Uh, I will click here and I will choose use vector and at this point I will come to numbers and I will select the vector here. See vector 0 0 0. I will select this and I will set this to vector 0 0 0. And then I want this enter AR button to appear again. So I will come here and right click and duplicate this set style button. I will place it here and in display I will change it to block so that it will start appearing. Now after this I have to hide a set of objects. I will select hide below this set in all this I will close this. So all this is coming under on exit do and here I have to hide I will come to list here I will create a list I will drag this list here and in the list I am going to add one more item here to the list. So there are four items I will close this and here I will come back to selector add this selector here and the first selector I have to hide is drag move. I will duplicate it then I am going to hide drag rotate then I will duplicate it then I am going to hide drag scale and finally I will again duplicate this and I am also going to hide the ready button. So the ready button will also be hidden. Uh, I will add two more items here because I should also hide. I will drag it over here. I will duplicate this. I have to hide the edit button also because even edit button should be hidden. I will duplicate this and I should also hide the scale percentage. So these six items I am going to hide it. Next I will come back to object and you have one option here set. I will drag this set here and I am going to select here Sudhi armature and for this Sudhi armature I am going to set its scale value. I will set the scale value I will come to numbers and I will select this number and I will set the x value to 1 duplicate it y value also I will scale it by 1 duplicate it and z value also I will scale it by 1. Finally I will again come back to object and I will select update text object. I will select this I will put it below this and here the text object is scale percentage update it with the text 100 percent. Now all this will happen when you exit from the AR. So we have completed on enter on exit and there is one more thing by chance you have AR but if you are not able to enter AR here I have to show warning messages and for warning messages I will also show you now how you can create your own functions in Word3D and this kind of functions are called as procedures. 
So, if I click on procedure here and I will select this procedure here and I am going to drag this procedure out somewhere here. I will make some place here by dragging this when click to the down and I will bring here and here the name of this procedure will be show warning and here for this I will click here and this will have one input and the input I am going to give it to is id and this is a procedure means this is like a function. I will write a number of commands here to execute and then I am going to call it here id and as soon as I added id in variables a variable called id will be created. Now this variable x is not required I will delete this x variable. So I have a new variable id created I will come to html and I am going to select this set style I will select this set style and this set style I will change to display I will call here the display style and this display style will be set to block for the element for which element if you come back to your interface you can see here we had created an element called warning center warning underscore center. So, I will duplicate this I will drag it here control x and cut it now I will come to arvr and I will paste it and I am going to attach it here. I will duplicate it then I have one more warning message inside this I will delete it here I will come back to my variable I will drag this id. So, the element display block id. So, now what happens is see initially in the interface we have set the warning center and this warnings display to none see these are not visible even here see warning center in CSS rule I had set it to block this also I will set it to none ok. I have set warning center to none warning unavailable to none and warning could not enter to none means these displays will not be visible in initially. But now when this function is called the display warning center and whatever id we are going to give it to the show warning will become visible and now after about 3 seconds it should disappear. So, for that I will come to time here I will come over in this list to time and I will drag this after 1 second and I will set this duration to about 3 seconds now and then I will duplicate this same setting and I will put it down and here the display will be set to none and similarly I will duplicate this second one also I will put it down and I will set its display to none. So, I wrote this function and now here what I will do is on failure I will come to procedure and now a new procedure is created show warning with id. I will drag it and put it in on failure and in the id place I am now going to come back to my interface and I am going to call for the warning could not enter ar. I will duplicate this I will drag it here control x cut it I will come back to ar vr. I will paste it and so could not enter ARVR display will be shown to you when it cannot enter AR. And now similarly if AR is unavailable if AR itself is not available then the very first thing the user is going to do is he is going to click on enter AR. I have to come to HTML and in HTML I will select on event I will drag this and I am going to add this here and one I will also drag all this a little to the down to make space and in this here see this should come inside this else if unavailable. When the user I will again choose here 
pointer up when the user clicks on which object we already have used this at the top here see the same event i will duplicate this enter ar button i will drag it down see i will bring it down and here when the user clicks on enter ar button and if ar is not available then i will again duplicate this show warning with id function but now only thing is in the warning i will come back to interface and i am going to use this warning ar unavailable i will copy this come to ar vr and here i am going to paste it so warning ar unavailable will be shown okay all the tabs have been completed now i will save this i will execute it and i will come back here and i will refresh it once and then here itself see in this computer ar is not available so when i click on enter ar see you are getting the error ar unavailable after 3 second it goes away see you get the display for 3 second it will be there and it will go away so i will save this i will execute this and after that i will come to words 3d manager and i am going to click on this upload button and wait till this application gets uploaded okay now our application has been uploaded to cloud now the final thing is you have to upload it to github i will come to github.com and coming to github.com log in with your account see you just i have logged in with my account here then you have repositories here and i am going to create a new repository and i am going to call this repository as blender ar i will keep it public and leave everything as it is scroll down and click on create repository and now once the repository is created i will come here and click on upload an existing file now here d drive words 3d sudhi in ar and all the files present here has to be uploaded don't try to select everything because in github at a time you can upload only 100 files so what you are do is i will now select this media sounds and v3d app data these three folders and i will drag it into my repository and wait till there are around 86 files to get uploaded now once all the files are uploaded scroll down come to commit changes and here type first see that commit directly to the main branch is on and click on commit changes so it will take some time wait okay now you see that these three folders are already added now again come here to add file and select upload file and then come back to your folder and now i am going to select not all the files up to this sudhi in ar blend i will select all the files here up till this sudhi in ar blend i will select it i will then drag it here so i have dragged some 14 files and see that it gets uploaded and once it is uploaded come here and choose again i will type something commit directly to main branches on click on commit changes okay so now these files are added now again come to over here to add file and click on upload files because you cannot upload many files at a time it will show you an error that the file size is too large so now leave your two blend files blend files are not needed here for hosting you select all other files except the ar blend files you select all the files and drag it so there are around nine files so all the nine files are uploaded come back here and click main 
and click on commit changes okay now if you want to add blend files also come back here to add files upload files and then upload these files one by one first you upload sudhi in er dot blend file the backup file is not required okay so i will just take this sudhi in er blend file and i will come back here and choose first commit commit changes okay now all the files has been uploaded so after uploading the files now only thing without fail you have to remember is see here your html file is named as sudhi in ar.html you select this file and then you click here edit i will click on edit this file and in edit name you change from sudhi in ar.html to index.html i will change it to index.html and then click on commit changes and see that commit directly to the main branch is on and click on commit changes okay so now if i come back to blender ar you can now see this file is renamed as index.html and after this now come to settings and in settings come to pages and in pages you have build and deployment in this you choose deploy from a branch and then in the branch select your main branch and then click on save and now it will take some time till the pages are generated you keep on refreshing the page okay now you can see that the site is live in this address https sathvik.github.io blender ar so now if i click on this link this is going to open so now you can see the application is running however on my desktop if i click enter ar it will show me ar unavailable error so now to i am going to send this link to my ipad i have the link here i will click on this i will copy the link since it is an ipad i have to come to my webxr viewer click here and allow paste paste and go so now this is you can see the five first screen i will click on enter ar click confirm here and as i move around you see this block here so i will move over here i also have the edit button so i will click okay and when i click on this you can see the character so with this we complete this augmented reality in blender project so let us meet in a, with our next project thank you